Hi everyone, welcome back to Becoming Valkyrie. Today, in lieu of the upcoming Game of Thrones finale, I'm going to try two new things that I have never done before. One, to sanitize a drinking horn, and two, to seal it. So for the first activity that I'm going to be doing, I will be using a fantastic ram's horn that I found in Peru while I was on a trip there with a nonprofit to help the alpaca and llama farmers. Um, I'll give you a closer up view. I found this just on the ground on a farm. Asked the farmer if I could keep it. He looked at me like, why would you want this? But sure, so I got to keep it. Um, but like I said, it was just sitting there on the ground. Peru has a very, where I got this from, has a very um, wet climate. So who knows what kind of microbes and bacteria it was sitting in. So before I drink anything out of it, I want to properly sanitize it. Now, I don't know anybody who does this kind of stuff, so I looked it up on the internet, and what I found to sanitize, they sometimes recommend just using soap and water, but again, I really want this clean if I'm gonna be drinking out of it. So the other thing I found was to boil it in water for about 30 minutes. So right now, I have my water set to boil. It's heating up right now, getting close. And once that's officially boiling, I will put my ram's horn inside that and let it sit for 30 minutes, and then I will let it dry. The other thing I'm trying to do today is seal the inside of this beautiful drinking horn. So this one I got with my boyfriend while we were on a trip to Scotland. I, guys, I love Scotland. If you haven't gone, please, please, please go to Scotland. We um, found this bone carver up in the highlands, just kind of hidden in the green, and he had magnificent work. So this was, um, you know, stuff that he had found from farmers or in the woods. He had done all this kinds of stuff. And I decided, duh, I was gonna get a drinking horn while I was in Scotland. And I definitely wanted to get it from a more real place like this bone carver, rather than a tourist shop. shop. So. Yeah, so I got from him, the only problem is that it's not sealed inside. Now, sealing a drinking horn means using beeswax or something like that to coat the inside so that there's a layer between your drinking alcohol, um, or not alcohol, and the bone itself. This way, you know, nothing leaks through, it doesn't hinder or impact the drinking horn, and it's easier to clean. So I haven't really, I haven't used this at all because it's not sealed. Um, so that's my goal today. That's the other thing. Ooh, and it comes with this really cool stand. So when you're not holding it, your mead doesn't fall over. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so to do that, I am going to be using these. I have, these are 100% beeswax candles that I had in my apartment. And I've used them enough that they have um, burned down to be teeny tiny little so I'm gonna be using these. Um, my plan is to heat them up over the stove on low, melt the wax, remove the wick part, and then have my beeswax to seal my drinking horn. That's the plan. So my water is very close to boiling, so I'll let that keep going. I This is what I'm using for my pan, just a nonstick, regular pan. I'm, it, this, I, I don't, you don't really need like any kind of special equipment for this. But then again, I won't say, I haven't finished it yet. So I'm turning my oven to low. So this is gonna start warming up. I'm putting it to low because I don't want to burn the, wees, the beeswax and I don't want it to get caught on my pan. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of heat, melt the wax a little bit. I have my cute little tongs that I'm gonna remove the wicks with and then I will be pouring it into my drinking horn and sealing it off. And then once it dries, once it um, hardens, you're good, you have that nice layer. Now, I did learn that that layer, because it's natural beeswax, it does kind of come off after a while, so you do have to reseal it every once in a while. Can't give you an exact number on that, but um, this should last me for a while, and hopefully I'll be able to use it finally by the finale of Game of Thrones. So this, my pot water is finally boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and put my really cool ram's horn in there. 
I really hope to make this a drinking horn too. that's all set and we'll just let that go for um, about 30 minutes. So just an update, I decided to start with only two little candles at a time for the ceiling of my drinking horn, but it's starting to melt, so take a look. You can see how that's already getting flat. Yes, it's working! Now I have one with a wick. This one doesn't have a wick, I just pulled that out and this one still has the wick. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful. I love it when things go as I hoped they would. All right, as you can see, I have my two first wicks out of the candles. The first two are completely melted. So now it just looks like water in the pan. And I'm gonna do my first pour into my baking cup. So then I'm swirling it around as it hardens. I poured the first batch pretty much down into the center so that I would have the base covered. And it's starting, you can, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, almost dropped it. Um, but it's starting to harden. And I'm just swirling it. Let me see if I can get it with the light. Can you see the difference in coloration there? Yeah, you can see it. So that's what I'm going for, kind of, I think. Go ahead and do two more of the little candles. Now, I did want to show you something that I forgot to show earlier. Um, when, I don't know if you guys do this, but when I put candles in a candle holder, you burn the bottom a little bit to melt the wax and then put it in and it sticks the candle there. So on the bottoms of these, I have the burnt wax. So I'm going to remove that before I put it in the pan because I also don't want to drink that. I kind of feel like I'm carving a bar of soap. Kind of am carving a bar of soap. I've gone my other horn. I think it's going okay. The good news is, is that it doesn't smell like crazy, so I'm very pleased about that. My kitchen kind of like holds scents. Every time I make bacon, my boyfriend comes home and he's like, you made bacon this morning because it just, the whole kitchen smells like bacon, which is delicious and then makes me want to make more bacon. Right. Oh, that was, mm, I just spilt wax on my stove. That's all right though. So now that I got the base covered, it's kind of hard for you to see. I am keeping it level. Ah, more wax on my stove. Um, keeping it level and just rotating it to try and get the edges. Cool thing is, so now I'm gonna do this kind of on purpose, but I'm pouring it back into the pan. Nice. All right, so now that I poured it into the pan, I can pour it back. Okay. 
Once you hear that, you can kind of see how rough it is in there. I don't think it's ideally supposed to look like that, but it is covered. There is a layering of wax. I think it's done. Let me see if I can show you in the light. Yeah, right? Kind of looks like an ice cave. But, pretty sure my drinking horn is now sealed and safe to drink from. Oops. I spilled a little on the outside. That's all right, I'll take it off. I'm just so excited about this. It's so beautiful. Wow, I've waited a long time to have that done. All right, now this has almost been in here for half an hour. So I'm gonna take it out and see if I can thoroughly dry it because you definitely want it thoroughly dry before doing any kind of wax sealing. So um, I will leave the candles because I don't wanna melt them until I actually know that this is ready. It's funny, in Peru they make a tea from coca leaves. It's supposed to help with alt um, altitude sickness. And this, the, the scent that's coming out from this, it kind of smells like coca tea. <laughs> I got a bit of grass in there. Just kind of rinse out the inside. It's fine. It's fine. Show you what the pot looks like now. Remember how it was clean water? A bit of grass came out. Whew, and then it's steaming. It looks pretty cool though. Oh! There is now a crack. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a crack. Thank God it's at the top. Maybe I can fix it when it's a little cooler and easier to handle. In the meantime, getting rid of my gross Peruvian water. That's another fun fact too. The, if you ever go to Peru, the water is not safe to drink. Unless you get bottled. You have to get bottled water. Food for thought. Next time I probably should have taken a toothbrush to it and cleaned it that way first. Because it's not fully clean. But it should be disinfected now. So if I take soap and water and a toothbrush to it now, it should be clean enough. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I can pull that right off. See the crack? Oh, that's so wild. Guys, look, 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 look. It's like the bone, it, the cartilage is bending. Oh, I just ripped that off. That was gnarly and awesome. I've never ripped, like, ripped bone off before. Yeah, I'm gonna tell people I've ripped bone apart. Yeah, that's not clean. All right. I'm gonna go get a toothbrush. I'll be back. Okay, so I set my water back on the stove to boil um, for my Peru horn. Um, I'm gonna do a second round after I've cleaned it. I've got this brush, kind of hard bristles. Um, I don't have a metal one, which is probably would be best to brush it out. Um, but these should be hard enough to give it a nice brushing. So I'm going to use um, soapy water and just brush it out.
Okay, so I just, I poured some vinegar into the horn. It's still in there. Um, and I let it sit for a couple minutes. I think it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Um, just cause it was, I threw it in boiling water one more time for like 10 minutes after I cleaned it out with a brush. Um, the water was way cleaner. I think it's finally like clean. Um, but it still had like a organic horn smell. So I think the vinegar will help. Um, I'm gonna pour it out and I think proceed. And I think I'm going to try a different method of pouring beeswax in this time, pouring it straight in, straight out, instead of rolling the horn like that, just in, back out, rotate, in and out. all melted and ready to go. So straight in, straight out. Straight in. I missed a lot. I'm gonna need that last candle, but I will finish that up and you can, yeah. You see it? No, the light's kinda hard. But, oh, there we go. Peruvian ram's horn. Sealed with beeswax. Oh, also, I just wanted to point out the difference. Ram's horn. Cow horn. Probably Highland cow. Sheep. Highland. Sheep. Difference. But that's how you conceal a horn. I definitely think that last method of going straight in and then pouring the beeswax straight out was way better. Um, so that it's definitely, definitely smoother. That's definitely the way to go. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.